guys, Zori here again. Today, what promised is finally here. I am doing two things in this video. I'm going to A, do a haul, and that's for both Dollar Tree haul, which I got tons of junk for $27. And the second one is gonna be an Ikea haul. I did, I went to Ikea. Probably gonna be showing you guys some footage from my trip there, and probably the dollar store. Why not? And gonna be showing you guys what I got, how I plan on using it, some projects. And the most exciting part of this video is going to be, I'm going to be doing pin or mint. That means is we're gonna take a pin from Pinterest, try and recreate it. Uh, what inspired me to do this video was I was on Pinterest looking for ideas for my master bedroom. I'm actually redoing that. Um, there'll be a video for that as well. And I kept on seeing pins on dollar store DIY projects that are so simple and so affordable and so easy. So I decided to take a trip to the dollar store myself and see how true that actually is. So I'm gonna start showing you guys what I've got. Clearly dollar store items were all a dollar. And then Ikea items, I'll tell you what I got them for, best that I can remember. If I'm wrong, I'll put a little caption in the bottom here somewhere and tell you what the actual price was. So let's get right to it, tell you guys everything that I've got and show you the projects that I have in mind. Stay tuned. that I got I was in the Christmas decoration aisle you already know I cannot get enough of Christmas stuff um, in my previous video which you should definitely watch I rave about how I absolutely love the holiday season so of course I'm going to be doing my Christmas tree next and I obviously had to go through the Christmas decoration aisle and found this puppy there. I love it, I think it's so simple. I think it goes with the star that I spray painted outside really nicely. So I might do something in conjunction with that and the glue gun, maybe not. But I figured it's Christmas, you can never have enough. Even putting in something as simple as a tablescape, um, it might work, so why not? So this is one of them. I also picked up some of these little candlestick holders and they're great, they're a buck and they can be a candlestick or they can be used for a thousand other things like you will see me using them in some little projects. I'm sure you've seen this all over Pinterest, they're everywhere, they're a buck, great shape, take spray paint, awesome. So this is definitely a good find, I got me two. So I think that's all I'm gonna use um, for my project. So this bell, I got for a dollar as well. All right, I also got these amazing flowers. They're poinsettias, 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 that setia, poinsettia. <laughs> and um, I think they're so darling and they were a buck and they have this awesome little clip in the back. I don't know if you guys can see it. They have this little clip, which is, makes it really easy if you want to clip it onto something. Um, so another dollar find, which was fantastic. I got two of these as well. I also got this burlap ribbon. Um, one of the pins that you guys will see me recreate um, needs a ribbon on it. And I love um, burlap because it's such a good neutral color and it makes it really easy for you to be able to make really pretty bows because it holds um, the shapes really good. And it makes it really like homey and organic and I really like that. So that's one. You're gonna see in my IKEA video, I give you the price of an item that's very close to this and we're gonna be using this plate that is really sturdy. It has beautiful intricate work in the back. It's all like engraved in the glass. And we're gonna be using it to recreate and make our own kind of craft. So you're gonna like this one for sure and everybody needs one of these. So, one dollar. 
This little frame was gonna be for another Pinner Myth, and I just, I really, all I needed was the shape of the frame. I didn't want a traditional like eight by 10, so I got what I believe is eight by eight, pretty close to eight by eight, but yeah. And I just wanted the shape. I don't care about the cutouts in here. I don't care about these lovely people that are in it. I'm not gonna be using them for pictures, so you're gonna see what I use this for. It's gonna be really, really cute. Awesome kitchen decoration. All right, and then we're gonna be using this little metal thing in another pinner myth. And this, I think, is one of the cutest pins that I've seen lately. It is really small, so to use it as a tray, unless you're serving like one person a cup of coffee, this is great. But um, I'm going to be using it a little bit outside the box, and I really like the way that I slot this pin, and I think this might be a really, really easy pin to recreate. So, a dollar. This is a pin that, I mean, not a pin, this is actually a good little craft project that I have been using for as long as I can remember. And it's so affordable, and it's so easy to make your house really beautiful and really affordable. Um, way to make art but I found this calendar which is 2015 and I could care less what year it's from I know sometimes we find these at Walmart and like craft stores for really cheap if they're like a year behind which I'm all for I always get them the one thing I really care about with these is the pictures it actually has on the other side this is art 12 pieces of art I just got for a dollar and they're really crisp and clean pictures of really beautiful things. These happen to be all sorts of antique cars and really edgy and really pretty vintage looking cars that we're gonna use as art. Pop these in a frame of any size with matting, without matting. Um, it can be the size of the picture, it can be just an eight by 10, frames you have laying around the house. This is an easy and affordable way to get art up on the walls for really cheap. One dollar for these, and I got this one, which is called French Garden, and I think it's so romantic and so pretty. I think it would be beautiful in a bathroom or in a hallway area, in a bedroom, and they're really pretty pictures of little gardens and birdies, and it's just so delicate and so stunning. So I couldn't resist, and I got this one. Um, it has a gorgeous black and white picture. It has a bird cage, birds, peacocks, really delicate flowers, really beautiful um, fonts over it. So, fabulous find for $1. And finally, my favorite of the three, I got this calendar, which has all sorts of little quotes in it. I know that right now quotes are super in. And we try to find all things that are really cute, different, edgy, and fun. And what better way to exchange quotes out of frames and make it really cheap and really easy than to grab a calendar. It already brings 12 pictures in it. Pop one in for every month if you have one frame and it keeps you kind of refreshed throughout the year. Um, take all 12 of them and frame them and make kind of like a wall art collage. Uh, the possibilities are endless and one dollar cannot be beat for 12 pictures. We got to our Ikea haul. This is going to be quick because I didn't get that many things. I just kind of went through. I was looking for something in specific and didn't end up finding it. So I think Ikea is like BJ's or Sam's Club, depends where you live, which one you have. But I think Ikea is like BJ's and Walmart and Ikea, they're the same in the sense that you cannot go in with the mentality that you're gonna pick up one thing and walk out. Always, always walk out with stuff that you didn't need or you weren't looking for, but you got a great deal on them, so you have to pick them up. Quickly, I'm gonna show you what I've got. Um, I got these little faces. They were 49 cents each. Yeah, 49 cents. And they were so cute. They're a nice neutral khaki like color. Um, and these can be used for a thousand different things. Um, you can put them on a vanity and put like your brushes in them. You can put, um, 
I don't know, your barrettes, jewelry in here and organize it. I mean, 49 cents, really, you can't beat that. Um, just be very careful because, for example, two of mine are a little bit stuck. The best way to get these out is fill the inside one with ice or really cold water and then get a little bit of like hot water, like a little pot something and put this one on the bottom. The temperature difference will make these pop off of each other. Quick tip, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. I got this little lighting shenanigans. It's the Hema something. The Hema lighting kit and I will open it for you guys. Um, what this is, I'm sure you guys have seen them and probably think I have no idea what to do with that, so I'm not getting that. But it's pretty much just an extension cord with a power outlet at the end, and it's really long. I want to say it's at least six or eight feet. And you plug this into the wall, you run the wire wherever you want light, and then this has a socket for a light bulb, light bulb of your choice. It has this little ring around here that you can pop a lampshade right in there, the ones that have the little circle in the middle. Pop the lampshade right in there, put this back in to secure it, and this would be beautiful hanging in the patio. I use it indoors, I use it outdoors, I use it for seasonal things, I use it in the basement when I need extra lighting. So, always handy to have one of these. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this yet, but figured I can never have extra light around the house. And then I'm working on a dresser that uh, doesn't have four drawers. And I did that on purpose because I wanted to put baskets inside of it. So, what I did is I picked up these little wire drawer slash basket things and I'm just gonna pop them right into the hole. You're gonna see these when I use them. Um, but it's really cheap. I got them for $2.50, so two for five bucks. I needed four, so I got four. And they're awesome for putting socks i wouldn't put underwear in this because people could see it if they come into your room which might be a little weird and awkward um but these are awesome for socks for linens for towels for i don't know t-shirts men have tons of undershirts and why throw out a perfectly good dresser if you just pop a basket in the slot where it needs drawer and so with that being said, that's everything that I got from Ikea and the dollar store. All right, now let's get right to either pin or myth, and let's see how easy these projects are to recreate or not. So stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna start our project with the dollar store little tray that we found. You can use any size that you like. I just happened to find this tiny one and it worked out perfectly. Um, chalkboard paint was from Hobby Lobby, it was $1.99. And a little brush, I happened to have a foam brush, so I used that. Shake well, apply an even coat of your chalk paint. you have really neat edges. Let your chalk paint dry and then give it a second coat to make sure you have a nice thick layer. Moving on to the bow, I don't have a special technique to do bows. I just pretty much do it like if I'm tying a shoe and then just unwrinkle it and make it pretty. Also make sure you have a good sized bow that will look really nice as a topper to your chalkboard. And finally we're going to use a hot glue gun to stick our bow to our tray and just give it a second, hold it in place uh, for it to stick. You should be good after that. And voila, here's our little chalkboard. I put mine in the kitchen. I think it's a cute little place to have our Thanksgiving menu up on. All right, our 
our next Pinterest inspiration is this quick and easy little wall art I'm using silverware I already owned and I'm using a green spray paint that A, I had around the house and B, matches the decorations I have in my kitchen. So just give it a light coat of spray paint. Um, you're not going to be dishwashing these so it doesn't have to be really thick. Just make sure it covers well the top side. Then take the frame of your choice and whatever paper is good for your background. Unwrap your frame. Take out the glass and use it to measure the image size that you want and so that you know what's gonna be in the actual picture. Perfect, then we're going to go ahead and frame that. Okay, now we're going to take our silverware and see how we like it, assemble it how we feel that it looks pretty. Then we're going to take some glue gun and in the high points of the silverware we're going to apply a little bit of hot glue and stick it right to the glass. And voila! That's probably the easiest art project I have ever done and the cheapest, $2. And finally, this is going to be an IKEA inspiration. This is the cake stand that I told you guys I saw at IKEA and it was actually $20. So, to recreate my own, I got a candlestick from the dollar store. Just make sure you take off all your stickers. Feel free to also spray paint this piece because it's not going to be touching food or whatever you use it for. Apply a generous amount of hot glue to the top and stick your plate on top of that. Now keep in mind, this is not dishwasher safe, so be very careful when dishwashing. Here are three ways you can use your cake stand. To put fruits on in the kitchen, you can use it to put cakes on, or in this case, just put a nice napkin on it and some cookies or crackers. And what I'll be using it for, it'll actually be in my walk-in closet. I'm gonna put it to put the jewelry that I take off every day um, so that it's in a nice, safe place and it's easy for me to find. Alright guys, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you learned something. So, that being said, thanks again for watching. It was a pleasure. And until next time, again, tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their mama's friends to subscribe to my channel. It's been a pleasure. See you all next time. Bye.